My penis nickname is the Meat Hammer. That was pork and beans. We just went over this. No, no, it's no. on pork, camera too. Pork and beans. When I was in high school, I called it the Meat Hammer. Now you can call it pork and beans because it's funnier. But if you bring up Meat Hammer in conversation, it hits really hard. And if it's not with the right group, like pork and beans is kind of cute. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, just fucking drove for like 10 hours, and now I'm just gonna go to the supplement factory, and we're gonna take Total War, and we're just gonna get fucking huge. Literally, it's such a heartbreaker. Like I used to literally exist purely for the fact of going into GNC, spending all the money I didn't have on buying products that were like Mass Gainer, Hydro Pump, like Muscle Explosion 10,000. And those things are literally gone now because most of them were banned. And then all of a sudden you go down to OC Discount Nutrition, Vitamin and Supplements. Oh. They've all been brought here. Sick. Yeah. It's incredible, dude. You go, to back, you go to the back section over here, and it's just pure nitro. Everything, sh everything in here should be illegal. What's well, like legal, but borderline illegal? All, everything in this store. Everything in here? What's up, buddy? How are you, buddy? Good to see you again. What's your strongest pre-workout? Yeah. I think the Ryan's been doing the Rise ones. The Rise ones? Yeah, those are like 400 calories. Oh, it's a heart attack in the Would you say it's better than Total War? It's going to be like along the same lines, but probably better pump. This guy's on that. Those ones down there, the black cans? Yeah. You sure you know they're on the bottom, ones. bottom shelf in all black. <laughs> what do you say flavor-wise? I know Ryan likes the tiger's blood. Tiger's blood? Yeah. Should we get one for Ryan? Probably. I'll get him the different ones so that we don't seem like pose or string the same shit. So if I wanted to get something that's gonna get me jacked and huge and strong, that's borderline illegal but totally legal. Do you wanna look like this, Jack? Yes. I don't know why that face is so familiar. That's a hondo your body type right there too. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. Let's just try to give everybody the 101s on how to get huge. Okay. Um, right here, boom. I would say this is probably the best deal in the um, in the business. I don't understand why more people don't take it. They're like, I'm taking all this protein and I'm not getting huge at all. Facts are you don't fucking eat any carbohydrates you're gonna be skinny bitch forever. Now that, that evidence has been <laughs> dropped. <laughs> Um, you know, obviously pre-workout doesn't make you bigger, but it makes you want to be bigger at a much drastic, like at a much more accelerated rate. You want to take risks in the gym, and that's what it takes to be freaking huge. Like, honestly, do you think these pythons grew by themselves? I fucking stuffed those bitches down with food and forced myself under inappropriate amounts of weight in unsafe numbers in ridiculously unsafe places. And now look at me. Spotters are for pussies. Like under three plates, just knowing that I can't make it. You look a little soft. You? Dude, I haven't eaten. I'm just I haven't eaten. I'm just ten out. You look great. This section right here, this is just basically the section why people aren't shredded. They come in here and eat fit peanut butters thinking they're gonna get in better shape. It never pans out. That's is that what you call your uh, <laughs> everything below the belt? <laughs> <laughs> I call mine pork and beans. Pork and beans. <laughs> Oh, my curious George. Most people show up to the BBQ for the pork, but then they end up going downtown for the beans anyway. <laughs> you you gotta have there. a side dish. <laughs> oh. Dude, this right here, you know the gong road kids? Like, who the hell is going out of their way to buy these Quest chips? By the way, Quest used to be like one of the biggest sports nutrition companies in the world, and then they got caught for uh, inadequate labeling of their supplements. People are like, like, how can this taste this way and have this amount of protein and all these kind of things and this high level of fiber? They did some like, you know, third party testing. Really bad numbers. Wow. Yeah. And they were like, the CEO was obviously like, he like basically bought like a, uh, a facility that was like the size of like the Disneyland and stuff for all their employees and like and bringing in like really expensive public speakers and stuff and then all of a sudden, I mean this is all supposedly, by the way, I don't want to get sued, I'm just giving you the facts of what I understand, they aren't even real facts, maybe they are, I don't want to get sued.
If you wanted me to take one supplement, what would it be? Let's go find it. You wanna find it? Okay. Oh, let's go. Mm. Over here. Mm. What are you trying to do? Trying to get strong as balls. Oh, creatine by far, dude. Creatine. If you want to really be the strongest person in the room, I would overdose creatine by like. Where'd you got? Where'd your guys creatine at? Oh shit. Creatine. Oh Christ. Perfect. So I have some of that concrete powder. This is good, but you should be taking three times the dosage of what's necessary. Like on a loading status, they say you should be drinking like 20 grams of creatine a day with a gallon of water. And that's like... The gallon of water part, damn, it could get better at the creatine part. Well, yeah, you're drinking all that water, but it's just fucking empty calories. Is the powder better or the pills? I mean, it's just convenience-wise. It's just smoke and mirrors at that point. Like, you're just like, some people are like, I digest pills better. In reality, it's the same thing, just inside of a pill cap. I feel like the pills are more convenient, easier to take. Yeah, some people powder are like it takes that. more effort. No, 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 powder doesn't take any effort. It takes a lot of effort, actually. It does? Yeah, it takes I mean, the mess. Out, you gotta pour in the water. It is messy. Stir it up, and that's uh, super yeah, so like This right here, it says 50 servings, four capsules. I would probably, see, that's not even that high of a level. Creatine HCI. See, I, the I, HCI hydrochloride based creatine is supposedly more, gets more bang for your buck and is absorbed faster into the muscle. It doesn't necessarily have more potential, it just absorbed faster, so it has to have lower levels. Gotcha. But um, let's just say this one's probably it's creatine monohydrate, 5 grams. I would probably be taking about 10 to 12 grams if I were you. Daily. Okay. Um, just digestibility, you lose some of that kind of stuff. Let's say you lose 30%, that means you're down to like three grams of creatine. You double that up, now you're above six. Triple that up, you're in the nine category with Big Beefy over here. No big deal. You can get some of these sweet beads? Oh no, smart beads. Smart sweets? I like sweet beads. What's up, Daddy? All right, this is what Hunter prescribed. Some creatine. It's getting me huge. Duh. So when should I be taking this? I always take it before my workouts with like a shit ton of water. Um, to like drink it. Hopefully it kind of gets infused with the muscles in time. I don't necessarily know about, like that's why HCI is supposedly faster absorbability and gets into your muscle bellies faster. And just more of it stays there. Um, and then at nighttime I take it too because I think if you think about it at nighttime you should have like the slowest amount of your your bloods not being shunted to like your muscles and stuff like that and you should have the most time for digestibility before your next workout mm -hmm. this is a theory necessary not necessarily proven but like if I was taking steroids or something like that it's not like you can take steroids at certain times in the day um, it just like, kind of has to get into your system and start flowing. So you just take that to the next level down, which is supplementation. Obviously lower level results because it's not like at an anabolic rate. And that's why I think you should take it at nighttime. You should take it just before your workout. Gotcha. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm basically a scientist. Pretty much. This bandana actually secures my science, science degree. I like the hard work that I do. What? Hard one. Oh, okay. What's up, dude? So, so if you, uh, if you did, is this gonna be something? Yeah. Oh. Sick. This is the intro to Buffy. <laughs> so we just need your office for a few minutes. Sick. Pull on the rower for a bit, and then we'll start with him with lunges, dude. And we'll just start to fucking go. I might go heavy on lunges. And then everything else would be for speed. Do I look like? Do I look like I'm ready to fucking crush some Russians? I don't know if any Russians are coming actually. Just Germans. Ah. Ah. Do I look like a dad? Because I'm rocking out in these moves. You know you're 
chilling with the fucking OG gangster. When they're growing and working out and some old old dad moves. I bet you I could beat 99% of people in a CrossFit competition and a High Rocks competition wearing these boots. I can snatch 225 of these things. Yeah, I did it this summer. So I just talked to uh, this rally school. So I'm still planning on going down. <laughs> Nick Bear doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna show up to his place and go chase him at his marathon, January 17th. But I, uh, I got a hold of this rally school. We're gonna race rally cars before we do the run. Like 500 pound Subarus. 500 horsepower Subarus. I want you to know that I took a poop this morning and I woke up. 205. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! I told you. Just a couple of good turns and a little bit of sweat. Daddy's back in the books. I cut back on my calories a little bit. Right before I was in a surplus. Now I'm just kind of back in a little bit of a deficit. And uh, I fucking. I'll be down to 202 by day one. My race day. Did you find a way to run from the city of the sun? You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done. I never knew you was a runner, yeah. yeah I mistook you for a son. It don't matter what we think when it's all over. Cause this is our last chance to leave it all behind. Raise your voice and raise your power, your power, yeah. This is our last chance to leave it all behind. Raise your voice and raise your power, your power, yeah. Have J 
just enough slag where you can get your feet in and out, and you don't have to fuck with it. Like it's still relatively tight, but I can still get in and out. Ready? Ready? Lines okay, but like here in my obliques and lower back was toast from those kettlebell swings. And I couldn't even hold on to the kettlebell anymore, so I was just bracing with my back. Sick workout, dude. Good, yeah, good. sick. Good right up. We originally, we originally supposed to do 14 to one, but 
I had surgery on my arm just about a year ago now. And that was my second time doing kipping pull-ups. The first time is actually with your cameraman right now. That, that team workout we did, the 30 rounds of three devil press, six pull-up, nine oh, calorie bike. That was fun. Your abs are twice as defined as they were before. <sighs> I haven't been eating very much. I'm lighter. I'm saying, I'm your abs on the assault bike Saturday, when you but. punch it. Looks great. Like on photos? Got some sick photos, photos, yeah. All right, gents. And on video, too, probably. My penis nickname is the Meat Hammer. That was pork and beans. We just went over this. No, no, it's no. on pork, camera too. Pork and beans. When I was in high school, I called it the meat hammer. Now you can call it pork and beans because it's funnier. But if you bring up meat hammer in conversation, it hits really hard. And if it's not with the right group, like pork and beans is kind of cute. I really didn't expect to do that much volume. I went for a big bike ride this morning. I was chilling. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. That pre-workout in the middle of the workout just didn't fuck with me at all. Something didn't do good for me. I think I, I shouldn't have jerked off before I started. 400 milligrams of caffeine and then going from lunges straight into like just a death workout. It was stupid.